What's up, 49er faithful? So a couple of quick things that I wanted to touch on was, one, I don't think I've ever heard in my life another fan base talk about a rookie as much as the 49ers fan base as we do about Mac Jones. I get it. I get it. I get it. Coulda, woulda, shoulda. Who knows? You know, toward the end of it, it was probably Mac Jones or Trey Lance. But once we went up to number three, you know, you could assume that we all knew it was going to be Trey Lance. Long story short, or the reason why I'm even saying what I'm saying is my opinion of, oh, Lord, Heavenly Father, help me. Um, why are we speaking to this dude? Man, if we had Trey Lance, or I mean, excuse me, man, if we had Mac Jones, it could have been like this. If we had such and such, it could have been like that. You know, we all do it to some degree, but we ain't gonna. We didn't get Mac Jones. You know, I could see when people say, "Hey, uh, well, if Trey was in there instead of Garoppolo, those are two people that are actually on the 49ers team." We all know that our future is with Trey Lance. So to see every other post talking about Mac Jones or look what Brady did or the hypotheticals, maybe just a stir up conversation. It's just weird. And, you know, there's a lot of things that we don't understand and we'll never understand when it comes to Kyle Shanahan. And, you know, I don't want to be on a negative hype, but. Man, it seems like, you know, I'll try to say this in the nicest way possible, but I think there is a big difference in personalities when it comes to Trey Lance and Kyle Shanahan. Um, with that being said, it just feels funny and weird to me how in the past it was like, hey, man, this kid Trey Lance is one of the brightest people I've ever seen he's picking up the offense so quick he's on point yada 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 then it turns into he ain't ready whoever is the one that said he ain't ready I don't even know the exact details on it I don't know if it was the media Kyle Shanahan himself whatever and if you're basing it on the game and a half that Trey Lance played that's not enough that's not enough to be like oh my god he ain't ready uh uh oh man this, that, or the other. So the point I'm making, it feels like there's more to it than we will ever know. And who cares? We're fans. We're fans of the team. It's not up to us to figure it out. But it is intriguing to understand what's really going on. Some of it don't make sense. And for me personally, I like to understand stuff. Or I'll just leave it alone. Sometimes I will go straight ghost. Not make videos, not do nothing because it's like... What am I going to do? Waste my energy on hypotheticals and hopefulness and this, that, and the other. You know, um, regardless of the fact, it gets to a point to where it's like, look, Garoppolo ain't going to take us to the promised land. Y'all go argue and say, hey, he did it in 2019. Brad Johnson did it. Trent Dilfer did it. Yada, 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 yada. You can go back on some of my videos and look at statistically, there were three quarterbacks who did it. They had one shot. They made their shot. They didn't squander the opportunity. They got it done. Garoppolo had his shot. He missed his shot, especially to Sanders. Didn't get it done. The chances are it's probably not going to come back around, especially when you don't have the number two defense like we did in 2019 and the run game. It's like everything got to go perfect around Garoppolo for that to happen. It's not going to happen. And so now we're just at the point where it's like, move on, move on. I don't know. Maybe sometimes negative publicity is better than none. Who really knows what's going behind the scenes? Maybe Garoppolo and Shanahan just. Maybe they're going to wind up getting tattoos of each other. I don't know. Uh, really don't care, to be honest. Maybe I'm just saying what I'm saying just to get a rise. <laughs> Anyways, um, you know, I know what a lot of us would do. 
And that's Start the Kid, Star Trey Lance, the child of God. Yes, sir. Um, and I think some people are threatened by that. I think some people are threatened by that true leadership. We're going to see, though. We're going to see what that really does for this organization once it's in full throttle. I hope nobody interferes with uh, his growth and his development. Um, to be honest, I hope the organization is really looking deep into it uh, with what should we do in the future as far as a uh, head coach and whatnot. Um, we got the right quarterback. And I feel like John Lynch is the right GM. Now it's time for that leadership to really shine through and do what you got to do. I mean, the team is called the 40, or the team isn't called, but, you know, part of the fan base is 49er faithful. I don't know if you know what the word faithful means, but that's a religious word. Or that's a godly word. I will say that. I'm pretty sure faithful originated from godliness. And some people are threatened by that. Some people truly are threatened by the goodness and the greatness of that. And like to mock it or turn it into religion and turn it into debate and turn it into what it isn't. Um, there's a lot of great things that could come from it. Hopefully it continues to be recognized for what it truly is and not dissected into making it something that it isn't. Um, Y'all be blessed. Have a great day. And hopefully this mountain can get moved in the right direction. Uh, you know, and at the same time, uh, you know, anybody could change. Shanahan could change. Organization could change. Um, I mean, the Grinch, the Grinch, for example, he had a heart three times too small toward the end of the story. It got three times big. Anybody could do that 180. You just got to change that perception and, you know, make simple choices. It's very easy to make simple choices without confusion. Confusion is not good. Confusion is can become torturous, can become, um, you know, complicated. And that's what things seem like in the Niners organization. It seems like there are some complications. You know, I hope it all gets squared off and figured out and simplified. And, you know, we head in the right direction. Peace out, 49ers. Rise up, the faithful. Real talk. Yee. Peace.